free your mind. Right, so today I thought to do a bit of pouring. Um, do not leave your paints out where, you, where your other half can get to them and paint something. What did she paint? I think it was a vase or something. And she used my best paints. So, hmm. Anyway, I've had to mix some more up. Some more of this black. I'm going for a. Oh, I need to put a, a, a spray in here. Right. Put a bit of yellow in. Orange. Really like this colour of orange. I've only just bought it. I do like it. This is a metallic copper. All my other metallics, except for this one and the green I think it is. I would mix them up, what I thought was floor troll. It turned out that it wasn't floor troll, it was white paint. Wah, wah. Oops. Yes, I know. So now I have lots of uh, metallic light gold, light green, light purple, light copper. Yeah. Not the best day, that one. black in. This black is going to take over obviously. But that's what I want. I'm going to do a tree ring pour. And this is the first pour I've done since uh, I went in for my knee operation. Still a bit sore, but at least I can sit down around here. Do we need a bit more? Um, need a bit more of that. I'll put a few more colours in, I think. This lovely orange yellow. Really don't want to put any more black in than this. So now I'm going to sit down to pour. I hope this will be enough. Should be. Um, I just bought a lot of these bottles. These ones here. The old. Is it 280 mils or something? So about 300 mils to the top. And I've made a lot of them up, so I'm not mixing it up with uh, the silicone or anything because I might not want the silicone in at another date. Right, let's try this, see how it works out. Just took me absolutely ages to uh, set this table up so the canvas was straight. In fact, I gave up on the canvas, on the table, and just uh, altered the canvas. Surprising what you can do with the old uh, the stretcher pieces. What you get for your canvas in the little plastic bag at the back. Just use them to heighten it a bit. Yeah, the black is very dominant. I'm trying to get some of the other colour out now. In fact, looks a little bit thicker than the other stuff. Not to worry though.
Getting some nice tree rings now. I'm just waiting for some new resin to go in. It's one of the two to one resins where you can use inside. Because for me in the, the UK it's still too cold really to sort of use resin. So I'm going to try this. I have five kilograms of it coming. So don't know which a kilogram is in a bottle. It's the litres. Let's see what I can do with this. Right, the copper is now coming out. You can definitely see that. There's also some cells there. I apologise if you can hear the radiator in the background. I know last time I've been talking it has made a humming sound. So if that happens I will put music on or something like that to cover it up. The drips what are coming off, they're giving it like, you know, the um, the runoffs. We well, can see just there where I'm running onto it now. It has like a walnut effect. That's pretty cool. Right. Got to try and stretch this paint out a little now. So I'll give this paint something to run against. We get in there. There you go. Just over to this side. Just said I'll use these other bits, these runoffs, as um, to making jewellery, and they turn into skins. Just leaving the big runoff there. Just using, touching up with the uh, other little bits. I don't like, don't know about you, but I quite like that. I do like that. Just looking for something to wipe my hands on. As you can see a few cells there. It does, it just looks like a a walnut. You know the walnut wood? Not the walnut nut. No, that'd be silly one to uh yeah. So it does. I really I like that. I just took these bits up.
I think we're almost ready to torch it now. Yeah. Almost ready to torch if I can find my torch. Just the odd cell coming through. You might not be able to see it on camera, but you can see the indentations. So this is about half an hour later, and this is what it looks like. It looks to me like a deep, sort of rich walnut wood, as I've said before. Who'd have thought that you'd get this colour with these four colours? That's a bronze. The, I think it's uh, cadmium yellow, the black, and the uh, orange yellow. It might be a bit sort of uh, bland for someone, but I'm really pleased with this one. So let me know what you think about it. Okay, so this is about 30 minutes later. I do need to do a little bit of work on it yet. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I know at least I'm going to cover up the uh, the silicone marks. So I'll wait till it's dried out a little and then try and work on them. As you can see, they've gone right down to the canvas, which is not really what I want. So, I'll try my best to make sure that they get covered up. You can just see one there. So yeah, I really like this one. Okay, so remember to thumbs up, subscribe, the whole caboodle, all right?